Hey guys, this is Tyler with the Mr. Plotbuster channel, and tonight we're talking about some beer and some Blu-rays. Okay, once again, this is Tyler with the Mr. Plotbuster channel. And the band that you just heard on the intro is an Oregon-based band called Floater. The song is called Let It Go. I put a link at the bottom. Check them out. They're a great band. Uh, the link is to their fan site, as well as uh, all their songs are available on iTunes. So check those out as well. Secondly, and certainly not least, tonight uh, we're talking about some awesome pale ale brewed right here in Oregon uh, by Deschutes Brewery. Here's a shot at the bottle. It's called Red Chair, and it says NWPA. That stands for Northwest Pale Ale. That's uh, a fine, hoppy beer. Um, I've got another shot right here. It's nice and golden. Uh, again, it's really hoppy. If you're 21 and older um, and you enjoy a, a great brew with a movie, go ahead and check them out. Um, I believe that they're only in a, a certain amount of states right now. It's kind of limited, but I'll put a link at their... Uh, uh, to their page at the bottom, as well as another link, um, I believe, on their um, frequently asked questions on their website. They discuss uh, options on how to actually um, order their beer. So if you're adventurous, you like good beer with a good movie, uh, check that out well as well. I think it's called uh, beertrack.com or beer trek. Um, anyways, I'll do the research and post a link at the bottom. Okay, so tonight, um, this is my first official uh, channel video. Tonight I wanted to talk about uh, some of my favorite, uh, we'll dub them man movies. Uh, these are movies that I can pop in anytime and thoroughly enjoy them. Crack open a cold one, sit in the recliner, and just totally veg out uh, and bask in testosterone. Um, they're in no particular order as far as you know how much I like them. I kind of did it uh, in category um, as best as I could. But without further ado, we'll just uh, dive right in. First and foremost, is uh, this is a, just a, a recent buy for me and it's an update from my uh, DVD to Blu-ray. We've got the Hanks man. Uh, Tom Hanks, um, Vin Diesel, Edward Burns, uh, Tom Sizemore, um, Matt Damon in Saving Private Ryan. Really doesn't need any introduction. Uh, great film. Like the, the battle sequences are unlike any other uh, war movie out there. The next one uh, some of you might disagree with me, uh, and some of you might be on board, um, is Uncommon Valor um, with Gene Hackman about a, a guy whose son, I believe, is uh, reported MIA in Vietnam, so he gets together these mercenaries. Um, I think a lot of them, are, most of them, if not all of them, are um, ex-soldiers themselves, and pays them like a large sum of money to uh, go back to Vietnam and... and uh, in Laos and find uh, his son who's a POW. Um, some of the acting is really cheesy um, but I just I really like the story. I thought this is a this is a great film. Uh, I can watch that anytime. Next up is uh, Oliver Stone's Platoon. I would like to get this on Blu-ray um, so if any of you guys uh, have it already on Blu-ray let me know how the transfer is but this is a great movie with uh, Charlie Sheen, uh, Willem Dafoe, um, Tom Berenger. Uh, there's some other guys in there I, I can't think of off the top of my head, but I really like this one. This is a good war flick. Next one is the, uh, I kind of put it in the epic um, category, um, and that's Sergio Leone's uh, Once Upon a Time in the West. Uh, this also has a great cast. Uh, Charles Bronson, Henry Fonda, Jason Roberts, um, Gabriella Frizzetti, Woody Strode. I really like this. And the whole Charles Bronson with the harmonica thing is just really creepy. But, it, you know, if you if you haven't seen this, check this out. You can definitely pick up a lot of uh, Quentin Tarantino's, um, where Quentin Tarantino was, you know, influenced. This is definitely one of the films that has influenced uh, his filmmaking. Along with the epics, a couple more by uh, Sapphire series. Gladiator, uh, definitely one of my top picks. Um, which I just noticed is the theatrical version. Oh, I guess they have the, the, This comes with the uh, theatrical version and extended version. I haven't opened this up. I haven't seen what the transfer's like. So uh, if you know what it's like, uh, hit me up. 
uh, give me a heads up on that. Next, uh, this is, if I had to categorize anything uh, as far as top favorites, this is definitely uh, one of my tops. I can watch this anytime. I know it's a long movie, but um, The Braveheart, I remember seeing this when I was like, probably in fourth or fifth grade. Uh, it was, I think it was the first R-rated movie I went to see, and I saw it with my uncle. And uh, I just remember being like traumatized by all the violence, but uh, it's a great film. I love it. Okay, these uh, next two are comedies. Uh, they've, uh, I'm sure all their um, taglines and one-liners uh, have been used and reused and overused, but they still crack me up. I don't care who you are. They're funny, um, and I find them hilarious, and that's what matters, right? Is what you enjoy in a film. Uh, the next first one is Old School. <laughs> next one up, uh, Talladega Nights. I'm not going to talk too much about it. What can I say that hasn't already been said? Next up is uh, Fight Club. This is the 10th anniversary edition. I can watch Fight Club anytime. Uh, I read the book, plus, um, not that I'm on this big Oregon kick, but the author Chuck Palahniuk uh, is from Portland. And uh, if you haven't read any of his books, check them out. They're hilarious. These last uh, four um, are going to be... Uh, these last four... Um, are, I can easily say, on my top, we'll say top 20 list, um, and I'll start off with actually like one that's probably on my, I know that's on my top 10 list, and that's The Departed. One of my favorite movies, great cast, everybody in the movie does a, a great job, and um, I never get tired of that. Next one, um, again, uh, could be my top 10, that's Training Day. Um, Denzel Washington did a great job in this, and the scene that I love the most out of this film is when uh, Denzel leaves him at the uh, Mexican gangbanger's house, uh, leaves uh, Ethan Hawke pretty much, you know, to to uh, get murdered by these gangbangers. And uh, when that scene, when they throw him in the bathtub and they've got the shotgun, you know, pressed against his cheek, and you know it's about to go down, uh, and then they find out, you know, that he. Uh, I won't ruin it for you if you haven't seen it, but he did something earlier in the day that was pretty significant, and uh, it's uh, a major turning point in the movie, and that's just, I live for that scene. That That's a great, uh, great movie making right there, and uh, writing. Next one, I'm not even going to say a bunch, I'm just going to show it. And finally, this is, um, I can say that this, uh, I can say with confidence that this is, um, on my top five list for sure and that's American History X uh, with Edward Norton and Edward uh, Furlong. Uh, love this movie. Um, I've seen this countless times. Top five definitely. Well that's it guys. Uh, those were just some movies that I felt uh, were good movies with uh, good testosterone and uh, they, they weren't all action-packed but the, the storylines are great and I think a lot of guys can identify uh, with some uh, of the characters in those movies and, and and I always love to again you know toss back a cold one while I'm watching uh, good cinema. Well, anyways guys if you like the video please subscribe give me a thumbs up leave a video response or a comment below telling me what your favorite man movie is. Alright guys and again uh, be sure to check out the links for Floater and Deschutes Brewery down below. Until next time cheers. That face that you don't show That father you don't know That feeling in your throat from covering the lies you told I'm standing on the pier Smiling from ear to ear I shout but you don't hear me